thanks for clicking in. Listen, I'm up to 146 subscribers here on my channel, which I'm happy about. I know it's not a huge number by YouTube standards, but I have to say the subscribers I have are some of the best subscribers on YouTube anywhere in the world. They're not, even, not some of, they are the best subscribers. I'm very happy to have them. I wouldn't trade one of them for anything, for another subscriber, for, for anything. I'd like to have more subscribers. I'd like to get up to 200 by the end of, by the end of the year. I think that's, that would be not this year, by next year, by 2018, that'd be my, that's reasonable. I think 200 subscribers, but that's the goal. Anyway, in this episode, I want to talk about me. I want to talk about me. Now, most of you know I'm a comedian. That's how I make my living. I travel the world. I uh, cruise ships and corporate events and some occasional comedy clubs once in a while. But what you don't know, some of you don't know, is how ecologically minded I am, how wonderful I am as far as recycling and all that stuff. In fact, I'd like to be known as the green comedian. I wish people would, I don't mean known as, I mean, I'm not going to change my name. I'm going to stay Dennis Regan. I guess I don't mean known as, I mean, like, I would, I would, I want people to think of me as like the green comedian, Dennis Regan, the green comedian, that kind of thing. I'll give you an example of one of the things that I do. Whenever I have a gig, whenever I have a gig, I walk to it. I walk to my gigs. I uh, put on some earth friendly hiking boots. And I uh, throw a couple of granola bars and some sprouts into a, a backpack made from, you know, organically grown hemp. And I walk to the gig. That's how I get there. Now, there are, unless it's too far. If the gig is too far, then I take an airplane. Then I go by airplane. Now, I don't get on one of those huge commercial gas-guzzling jets that everybody else flies. I have my own jet. I have my own private jet, which I fly. It's very much more efficient and streamlined. And it, it seats like 11 people. Usually it's just me in there, but um, it's, it's a nice, and it's fast, and it's faster, and it gets me there. And, and it, it helps to me, me to reduce my carbon footprint and, uh, and that kind of thing. But one thing I've done, uh, in addition to, the, to that, is I had the, the, the plane, I had my plane painted green. You know, green. And what I did this to remind my fellow earthlings when they look up and they see the plane coming in to remind them to be earth friendly and to do whatever they can to uh, reduce their carbon footprint and to help preserve this planet's natural resources. I think that's the least that I can do. Now, there are times, uh, full disclosure here, there are times when I don't take the small plane. I take my own, I take a jumbo jet, but it's my own private jumbo jet. It's, it's, it's big, it's huge. I only take this when I want to, when I want to take my whole entire entourage or say I just want to turn the whole gig into a giant party and I want to, all my friends, we just get in the plane, we just go and we have a big party. You see, that's the only time I take it. And that's really only about half the time. Now, you think in party, you know, party, college. you know, I believe, this is what I believe. I believe that Mother Earth wants us to enjoy ourselves, to enjoy. Why else would she provide so many wonderful resources for us. That's the way I feel about it. Now, now you know, I shouldn't call it Mother Earth. I think that's, that's sexist. You, you know, the Earth is a, a gender neutral thing. I think I'm not going to, I don't know, Mr. Earth. Nah, I'm, I'm going to call it, from now on, I'm going to call it uh, Person Earth. Person Earth, that, that sounds, well, Planet Earth. I think I'll call it Planet, planet Earth Works. I'm going to call it Planet Earth. And, and I, but I don't want to make Pluto feel bad, you know. I don't want to rub the whole planet thing in Pluto's face. But I'm going to call it planet Earth. Yeah, so sometimes sometimes I take the jumbo jetliner when it's going to be a party or something like that, right. But I feel, uh, I, I feel especially obligated to do a little bit more when we take the uh, jumbo liner. And in addition, so in addition to having it painted green, what I do is I put these words, these huge words underneath the wings that say, pick up your trash. Pick up under one, on, under one wing and you guessed it, under the other wing, your trash. That's, that's a depiction of it right there. I couldn't show the actual, uh, get an actual photo because I, I sent the plane to uh, France to get washed. But that's what it looks like, kind of like that. And the reason I did that is so when we fly into these places, these remote villages around the world, 
the villagers or whatever you call the people, peasants, whatever you call these people, they'll look up, they'll stop what they're doing, whether it's fetching water or slaughtering a calf, whatever they're doing, they'll stop and they'll look up and they'll see the words and they'll say, oh, pick up some trash. And they'll pick up some gum wrappers or maybe uh, some Starbucks cups that are laying around and then go back to slaughtering the calf. That's, that's, that's what we hope. That's what we hope will help the planet. Now, in addition to the wing word message strategy, we also have a leaflet dropping campaign. We go and we drop this leaflet. It says, it says the same thing. It says, pick up your trash. We drop thousands of them all around the area. Whenever we're going in for land, we drop thousands of these leaflets, sometimes hundreds of thousands of these leaflets. And they say, pick up your trash. So everybody's going to get the message, right? And I know some of these people in these places are not going to speak English because we're going to remote places like New Guinea and the Amazon rainforest and deep, deep Siberia. So they're not going to understand this. But what we've done is we've provided a website for them to go to to learn what it says. It says right here, uh, visit www.thatdarndennis backslash um, pick up your trash forward slash what does this mean? backslash question mark and they just go there and they can choose there'll be a a, a, a a list of phone numbers that they can choose from to call to find out what that means in their language their mother tongue or their person tongue now i know some of you are thinking these things there might be flimsy these things might be flimsy and just wither away and disintegrate after a, a few days or a few months but that's just not the case these are made out of a space age polymer um, fabric like a wax made out of like a wax that they have fiber inlays that they're not going to disintegrate within years even tens of hundreds they might even last these guys have told me the manufacturers told them this might last thousands of years and uh, i feel real good about that because my message is going to be getting out there long after i'm gone in fact these might even outlast outlast planet earth itself that would, that would be a real feather in my cap. But I don't want to make this about me. This is about the planet. It's about planet Earth. I mean, let's face it. If it weren't for planet Earth, we wouldn't even have that darn dentist. So I uh, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Let's get the subscribers up to uh, something else higher than what it is. And I appreciate your like or whatever, comment. Say hello down below. Thanks for coming.